morning, darling daughter. You sleep well? Like a lock. Yeah, fancy some breakfast? Oh, have you had Charles already? Yep. And Jack? Him too. Did you cook? <laughs> yes. Sure, that's wise. It's becoming quite a habit, isn't it? A am I in your way or something? You know, that is what I've always loved about you, Mum. Grey can't see it. He thinks you're just a bit slow, but not me. If you have something to say, you just spit it right out. I want that room to myself. And if Jack makes it through another day after you're cooking, then maybe next time you should serve him in bed. Stephanie! It makes sense. You've got to be past the holding hands behind the bike sheds by now. It's just the next step. Yeah, well, I seem to remember that that step was quite a lot further down the line. It's not like you to be so coy. Look, that was your dad. This is different. Me and Jack, we Well, it's just like we're starting afresh. Anyway, why do I have to discuss this with my children? You'll be telling me about the birds and the bees birds next. The... Maybe Craig was right. I assume you've got yourself sorted. Oh. Well, Dad's obviously abdicated any responsibility as far as that concerned, so it's down to you. And we don't want any little accidents, do we? <gasps> Mine's a coffee. You call Mum coy? Yeah, well, you had to be there. Birds and the bees. Things aren't moving quick enough. We've come a long way since supermarket singles and, and whipping out the old salami, don't you think? Yeah, well, if we're not careful... Well, not to the point, if they're too careful, we could go back to those dark days. <laughs> That's a bit OTT, don't you think? I can just see them all now, sewing on the leather patches on Mr Whittle's best tweed, or fighting off Mike the pervy plumber with his sweaty palms and splash back. Enough, Steph, please. What do you want us to do? <clears throat> Oh, no. <laughs> All that fishing around, and Mum goes and hooks herself a tranny. Very cute, son, but not my shade. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Jack. Besides, I don't have the shoes to do it justice. So imagine my surprise when I found it hanging up in my wardrobe. Oh, so I suppose you've gathered us here today to see who can slip into it. Elementary, Jack. That won't be necessary. I, uh, I do believe that Steph must have put it there by mistake. <laughs> Is that right, Steph? Well, if the dress fits, Mum. <laughs> Sorry about the dress gag before. Oh, well, no harm done, eh? It's just with you being Scottish and, well, the whole kilt thing going on, it just wasn't a big leap, you know? Craig, can I do something for you, son? Not that my mum would mind. It's not as if she's ever going to wear it again. What with her never going out anywhere. Mm-hmm. In fact, <laughs> now that I think about it, it all makes sense. I mean, today's not your... our busiest day here. And, well, there's my mum, desperate or keen to go out. And here's you, dying to get into a dress. It all fits. All except the dress, and the fact that we don't have any bar staff cup. Oh, no. You see, you're one step ahead of me, Jackie boy. Me and Steph will do it, we've done it before. You can say that again. Craig, you're barely old enough to collect glasses, son. I'm 17 tomorrow, and we've learned off the best. Jackie boy. Now... <clears throat> My mum loves surprises, especially romantic gestures. Of course, uh, if you're not fussed. So what are you doing? Texting all my mates, letting them in on it. Kudos. Free party, contacts, networking. What? Whoa, Mum! <laughs> you're early, very good. Oh, cracking pair of legs, the both of yours. <laughs> you're table of mates. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Oops. Spread the word, the deal is off. And give me money for that drink. I didn't realise you had so many friends. Neither did I till I started giving out all this free beer. They finished their start yet? No. If it rings that bell one more time, I'm going to do something we'll all regret. I suppose if I keep apologising for my children's lack of subtlety... Hey, listen, you'd be here until we're open, Grey. But you know I'm grateful to them, really. Why's that? Well, how else would I have got to see you in that dress tonight? <laughs> and how else would I have got to see you in yours? <laughs> but, listen, Jack, there is something I've just got to ask you. Tell you what, you show me yours, and I'll show you mine. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing now? Oh, we're acting all lovely dovey. Well, I think they're going to, uh, you know, do it. Well, if that's anything to go by. It's only a matter of time. Maybe it's dead from one, though. Well, with dad being the only one. It's be given away cheaply. Or indeed at all. I think we're starting to make my kids a bit nauseous. Matchmaking goes with the territory. <laughs> Frankie, I am... 
haven't put you off your second course, have I? I can't wait. I think it's time you rang my little bell. Oh. <laughs> They're acting like kids. That bed's as good as mine. Well, if you value your own comfort over your own mum's virtue, as long as he gets rid of that belt. Wakey, wakey!